I'm going to use the 3D scanning app Kiri Engine to scan my backyard and recreate it. So a little bit of epilepsy warning, I'm about to take a whole bunch of photos. Now I'm using the 3D scanning app Kiri Engine and I'm currently using the beta version where I've got 200 photos to work with compared to the 70. Now the Kiri Engine app is more focused on small objects, so I'm really pushing the limit of creating a massive landscape of my whole backyard. Now I'm trying to stick as much as possible to the exterior to get those dimensions and to get a scale model. And in a sec, we'll upload this to the cloud, let it process to create a 3D model that we can work with. What we'll do is we'll take that model and bring it into Blender. So let's now jump over into Blender. I'm going to select everything and delete file import the OBJ. Let's now kind of just quickly realign the model so it's kind of flat on the ground. So something like that. I'm lining up this edge here. Side view numpad one something like that and let's see if we can square it off as much as possible there we go all right let's come into the model and we can have a look at what the raw data is and it doesn't look too bad obviously the trampoline is going to be rough as guts because we didn't focus on that we tried to get as much of the pole here as possible but we can see we can definitely see what we're looking at let's just have a look at material mode and it looks like my backyard like looking this way it looks a bit rough but once again like i said we didn't really focus on the trampoline because at the end of the day we walked uh, here and then we came around uh, the trampoline focusing on the left side and then this is where we got where we run out of photos so we will try and clean this section up um we'll just try and clean a lot of it up and then we'll go ahead and start building the backyard with whatever we can so first up, I'm just going to get rid of the trampoline. Um, I'm not going to decimate just yet, and I'm not too concerned about deleting the ground. So let's have a look. Did we get most of that trampoline? By the looks of it, we did. I'm just going to press numpad plus just to increase the selection just that little bit more to make sure that we got any straggling pieces. Uh, delete vertices. There we go. Um, what I will do now is delete the roof. So let's kind of just go through and select all this. So now with the majority of those pieces removed, let's now throw on that decimate modifier. Uh, where are we here? Let's maybe bring it down to 0.3. And that is looking good. We're now down to 787,000 vertices. I'm just gonna press control A on that just to apply it. And let's go ahead and work out what we can fix. Now we see that this wall here is a bit rough. But this one's not too bad. So what I'm going to do is let's just move over here to the left. I kind of want to just grab this whole section. There we go. I'm going to shift D to duplicate, P to separate by selection. And now we've got our own little individual piece. And then I can press G to the Y, move it over. And now we've kind of got that piece covering it there. Let's go shift D y there we go let's bring it out and now these two faces are kind of overlapping into each other which is what we want now that bit there's a little bit rough i think that's just because we stretched it a little bit too much but what i can do is move that over tab into edit mode deselect everything i'm going to press k for a knife tool straight down and I'm going to press C to make sure it cuts through the whole mesh. Enter. Let's press V to rip. And then Control L, delete vertices. And so now we've kind of got that very straight line there. Um, and we'll do it one more time. So we can see that this brick wall here is a little bit rough. Uh, there's not a lot I can do about that one. Once again, we just ran out of photos. But what I'm going to do here is grab this section, mirror it, and put it over here. So let's go ahead and do that. So select there, I'm going to grab everything that's here. I'm even going to grab the ground just to make our life a little bit easier. There we go, something like that. Make sure we don't have that selected. Let's go Shift D, P, separate by selection. We can select this object. What I'm going to do is origin, set origin to geometry. And so now like our rotation point is here where it was somewhere else before. 
back there, which is not very handy for us. So let's select our secondary piece, G, Y. Let's press S to scale Y minus one. That's a little bit weird. Scale Y minus one. What on earth are you doing, buddy? We'll just rotate that back into position and we'll plop that one about there. And if we come back into there, we can see that's how it's roughly meant to be. Obviously we've got these back faces extruding so we could select the main mesh and say, be gone with you, <laughs> delete vertices. And now we've got that mirrored. So it's looking a little bit better, still not perfect, but I think that's okay. We could probably do that with this wall here. And I'm just gonna delete all that just behind it. We'll keep that section there, delete vertices. And there we go. So now we've built that wall up. Now the next thing in this um, house renovation is we wanna get rid of the cubby house. Okay. So from here, what I'm gonna do is we're going to wireframe mode and I'm gonna select everything that's the cubby house. Now, obviously knowing my property, I know that um, we've got a little bit of a brick hole wall there, which is what I wanna keep. I'm going to delete that. Let's just make sure we've got everything and we'll delete the roof as well. From here, I'm just gonna press delete faces or vertices, sorry. And now we've got this hole. So obviously there is a fence behind here, which we want to kind of keep. Luckily enough, I was, I pre-planned and we've got this fence here. So let's go ahead and we're into edit mode. Let's just grab all this being very loose. Shift D, P, separate by selection and just move it over. I think right there looks pretty good. And there we have it, we've filled in that hole. Now obviously we still got a hole here because obviously we didn't scan. However, we do have a piece just here. Shift D to duplicate. Let's put that in place. There we go, bring that out. Nice. Uh, from here, we could probably delete some of these vertices, delete vertices. How are we looking? Uh, we've got some extra faces in here, which we can get rid of. There we go. Nice. So you can kind of see how we've built this whole section up very quickly. From here, what we can do as well now is let's work on this grass business. So if I select all, we'll come back to that. If I select this whole area, delete those vertices. What we can do now is add in a new plane and we'll line this one up to the best we can. I'm just gonna quickly use the Botanica add-on. Let's press N, Polygon, Botanic, Scatter Assets, plus sign, Grass, why not? Let's give it a nice grass. Uh, lawn, that looks good on that one. And now if we come into material mode, hopefully we've got some nice grass now. We do have some ni nice grass. Let's just quickly add a dirt plane. And so now we've got a nice grassy backyard. <laughs> Probably could have had some greener grass. <laughs> but we get the gist there. Um, with the trees, maybe we could get rid of these trees. Um, let's see if we've got a clean. So here's a clean brickwork. We've got a fairly clean fence here. So what could we do? Maybe we just fix up this whole area. So what I'm gonna do is select this section, duplicate and cover it this whole area. So let me just quickly do that.
So as you can see, we have now removed all the trees. Um, we've now got a fence line. So the next big thing is what are we going to be putting here? Maybe we might put some trees. So once again, I will jump over into the Botanica. Let's go to spawn an asset, an oak. I don't think so. Let's maybe get some lemon trees. Uh, we'll go OK on that one. Uh, Shift D, Y, and then I'm just going to rotate. Because who doesn't love a good lemon tree? I think that's a bad spot for it. We'll move this lemon tree over. And one more for good luck. There we go. Next thing, I wouldn't mind redoing um, this dirt work. So let's go ahead and redo that. And by that, I'm going to shift right click, put my 3D cursor there. Shift A, and let's add in a plane. I think definitely I haven't scaled this. I probably should have done that first. Let's grab this. G, Y. And then we'll put an edge loop through here. G, X. Sorry, E, X. Bring it down a smidgen, just so it's kind of like under that brick line. Uh, let's maybe jump over to Extreme PBR Combo and let's see if we can find some sort of ground coverage. Uh, ground, I want soil. And a bit of a dark one because I want it nice and wet. Add new. Let's just quickly U, Smart UV, unwrap. And then we go, we've now got our nice dirty, dirty soil. So let's go ahead and clean out all this now. And so now we've got our nice dirt layer here. And so I went ahead and spawned some lavender and you can kind of see quickly how we've rebuilt this garden into a wonderful beautifulness. And so you can just see the transformation that this backyard has gone through. This is what it would look like. Uh, let's just come into render view and we'll just have a quick squeeze. And so what we could do now is, yeah, literally just show off to people what their backyards would look like. You can see we've done a fairly good job. Obviously, there's a lot more cleaning up that we could do. Um, we could rebuild oops, this whole veranda area. Um, but like I said, right at the start of the video, this 3D scan isn't designed for environments. But we were able to redesign a backyard. So I kind of wish I was a landscaper now because I could do these things and show people, hey, this is exactly what you're going to get ish. So just remember this was done with the Kiri Engine 3D scanning app. Go download, link in the description. And if you do some scans, please share them with me. I'd love to have a look.